Oh, hey, yo. This is Homestar Rhino. And this is Strong Said. And we're both morons. No. And welcome to the King of Town Super DVD. Uh, I think he means the Yellow Dello DVD. No, I think what he means is I'm the dumbest guy on the planet. Here's some proof. Okay, let's begin. Yeah, let's begin. What the crap kind of freaked up sport are you guys playing anyways? I mean, you're on a football field, but you've got a basketball goal, and basketballs and footballs. I know. It's America's past. Oh, hey, yo. This is Homestar Rhino. And this is Strong Said. And we're both morons. No. And welcome to the King of Town Super DVD. Uh, I think he means the Yellow Dello DVD. No, I think what he means is I'm the dumbest guy on the planet. Here's some proof. Okay, let's begin. Yeah, let's begin. What the crap kind of freaked up sport are you guys playing anyways? I mean, you're on a football field, but you've got a basketball goal, and basketballs, and footballs. I know. It's America's pastime. Wookie with good is always so great. He's such an idiot, moron, crap for brains, creep. You know, Homestar, I saw Coach Z coming out of Marcy Pants out the other day. Wait, really? You did? Little known fact, Homestar gained a hundred pounds and shrank two feet for this role. He too? Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is the scene that has subliminal advertisements. Watch, if you see that X, it ends up going between the E and the Z, which means that it, um, it's easy. Does it? You look so great in the later hose at Homestar. So we start calling you Homestar Von Runnerberger or something? Yeah, I look great in that stuff. It was my later hose. And so he crapped and crapped and crapped and crapped and crapped all over that rock. Hey, that only happened once. It was my rock. I think I uh, and it always kind of bugged me how you could never get your grammar right here, Homestar. I think I has the solution. What's that mean? Oh, and I don't care what anybody says, but that bird is hot. I tell you that right now, a fine looking bird. Oh, here come my favorite bird. Oh, ho, ho. that's so great. That's a great one, Homestar. Classic. What? What'd I do? You hit me in the face! Oh, I know! It's America's pastime! Oh, I hate it when Pom Pom floats like that. It gives me the creeps, you know? I don't trust that guy any further than I can throw him. Well, then you must trust Pom Pom a whole lot. Oh, shut up, why don't you? You guys were doing pretty good at this point. You hadn't lost any men. Had you found the diamond ring yet? Uh, yeah, I think we found a diamond ring, and some platinum bars, and a couple of bags of gold. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know, Homestar. That was really dangerous. Stop that. Oh, come on, guys. Let's do it for Mercy Pants. Well, how's it got Mercy Pants in prison? Stop it. No, no, keep it up, strong man. I do sound funny. Who's that? Oh, wait. Okay, now before you guys start, I gotta say in my defense that I never wore a pair of oven mitts in my life. Okay, those have obviously been added in later on using the most advanced computer magic available. Alright? <laughs> what? I'm serious! Oh, I wasn't laughing at you. I was laughing at Marcy Pan. She's funny looking. Oh, man. What a hottie. Okay, now this scene is my pride and joy. I wrote this whole song all by myself. Well, except for the lyrics. And for the music. All right, you guys. Any ideas? Uh, yeah, I got an idea for you. Jump.
Okay, Homestar, where the crap are your legs in this scene? Well, actually, Homestar wasn't in this scene. That's a sophisticated puppet that I'm operating with one of my hands at off screen. Oh, yeah, I remember that. They had to replace me because I didn't have any legs. <laughs> okay, I lied, man. This is my favorite part of the whole cartoon. <laughs> oh, look at him. His head looks like one of those things on a cow. You know the part where the milk comes out? Well, actually, that was a sophisticated bladder system that I operated off screen with the belt. Oh, shut up, why don't you? Hello, Dello. Would you mind coming with us? You see, it's... <laughs> oh man, that's so great. And now he's bleeding. <laughs> he's like some stupid bleeding baby. Uh, wait, Holmes, Dog Dad, this I feel is your strongest work. It's like your every delicate intonation and gesture helps to weave this rich subtext of despair and wisdom. Oh, wow. Thanks, Homestar. What? Did you say something to me? I don't know how the two of you managed to pick his fat, ugly butt up there. Oh, don't worry. We had like 12 other guys underneath us helping. <laughs> it is a, a fat butt, isn't it? It's ugly, too. Well, this was my time to really shine in the cartoon, so... I used a bit of method acting to apply some of my own personal experiences to the scene. And I remember this time back in school where uh, all of a sudden everybody started being real nice to me. And I thought it was because I started wearing this t-shirt that said I'm number one on it. But it turns out it was all just because I had a pool. <laughs> what? Huh? What's going on? Oh, Strong Sad is stupid and Homestar is dumb. Okay, um... Okay, Homestar, I gotta ask. Do you ever remember your lines? Because you're always going, um, uh, um, uh, okay, okay, um... Um, yeah, I think I remember this one line. One time. That's a big door. That was a fake talkie. That's the fake invisible talkie. Marzipan really scares me when she's angry. Oh, ouch. Wow, you know, Marzipan has really nice hands. Yeah, I suppose he does. Oh, you know, those little guys creep me out, man. Like, I'll have nightmares where there's like a thousand of those little scorpions crawling all over me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like that thing from Yard's Revenge, and like you wake up and it's nibbling on you and pieces of your falling off in squares. I dream of my own death. Over and over and over and over and over and over.